good. Now take a deep breath in and out. Good. Now let your shoulders relax and sink in here. Good. Lay your back. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. How does this feel like right versus left? They feel the same? Yeah. How about this, is that tender? A little bit. So more tenderness on the left and it's not moving the same over here on the left. Right. In place. Okay. No, you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings. I'm gonna trace this up to the bottom of the gluteal fold. Good. We're just slightly lower on the right here and then looking from the top, pretty even. Okay, looking at the feet first, they look nice and straight. No pronation or supination there. I'm gonna turn around. Good, and then stop right there first. Let's just check here. Good, no curvature in the Achilles tendon either. Go ahead and walk straight again. Okay, looking at the shoulders, they look symmetrical from here, but I, I think we're, we saw the asymm asymmetry in the scapula. Just don't listen to me, just walk, yeah. Good, arm swing on the left, more prominent than the arm swing on the right. I'm gonna follow your breath down like this, and at the end of your breath, we have a little push like that, okay. Starting to crack already, because it's ready to go. But you're nice and relaxed. So let's do that again. Deep breath in. It's going to be gentle, gentle, gentle. Just following your breath, not adjusting yet. Hold on. Let's do another breath. Good. Now gentle. Good. Let your shoulders sink in. <laughs> okay, this is gentle, okay? Just let your back relax a little bit more. Good. How is that pressure, okay? Mm hmm. Deep breath in and out. Okay, let the shoulders sink. And then out. Oh. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, you're gonna breathe. Just let this relax. Okay, so you're just gonna kind of like loosey-goosey or just like you're laying in bed, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up in this direction. Are you cold? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, as you breathe, we're gonna stretch your shoulders this way. I'm gonna bring your hips down like this, then we push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, turn your face in and look straight that way. Okay, good, now take a deep breath in and out. Good, now let your shoulders relax and sink in here. Your back. Right, so same thing here, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good now, nice and nice and gentle here. Let your shoulders relax here. Good. Let the hips relax. Good. Hold on. There's more. Good. Let this go. <laughs> center. Good. Mm -hmm. Back to center. Now to the left. Center. Bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Good center. Okay, breathe in. Good. Out. Good. Let your head and shoulders let this drop here. Good. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.
Wow. <laughs> Breathing gentle, 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 gentle. Let your head just sink in here. You have to test first and see where. Seven, six, five. Good. Let your head relax. Good. Good. Let your head drop. Shoulders. Good. Good. Right in the middle here. Let this go. <sighs> Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Uh, I'll put you in the right position, too. I'm just going to steal that from you a little bit. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? That's what everyone always says. Good. So this is just the best position to put someone in, to be able to free up those three bones in the pelvis. So this way, all I do is I rock you over, contact in that area I want, and I just basically push it back to where it needs to be. Okay. That sound good? Okay. Your job is to do a whole lot of nothing. Okay. <laughs> So I just want to find that one here. I'm bringing it just a little bit closer. Cool, right there. So that's right where that ilium is. Perfect. And I'm just going to roll you over this way. Not bad, right? No. <laughs> and she giggles. That's the most common reaction we get is a giggle. Oh. Did it hurt? <laughs> is it? Yes. <laughs> it's perfect, right? Yeah. So let me have you switch it. over the other side for me, please. Yes, yes, I'm going to put you in the right position. So that was for the right ilium. So now we have the left sacrum, which is the opposite side. Let's do that a little bit more. Nice big hug with that. Cool. Bring just a little bit closer. Sweet. Good. So let's get right on that sacrum. Good. Just relax that low back. Beautiful. Not bad, huh? <laughs> a little bit different than you expected? Yes. yes. Let me have you go face down for me, please. So we're going to retest that muscle. You let me know if it feels a little bit different. Okay. So you can put your face down inside there. First, I just want to check the leg length. What do you think, Dr. Matt? Dr. Matt's recording this time. This looks good. It looks good. It looks good. good. <laughs> it's good correction. We're staying even. And then let me know if that already feels a little bit different when I go like this. Yes. Does it feel like it's oiled up a little bit? Like, yeah, because now it's actually reaching. Perfect. As you can. Beautiful. And that one's still working just like it was before. And that's how you lift up this leg. Yeah. Does that already feel different? Yes. So now, wait, say that one more time. Did you say yes? Yes. One more time? Yes. <laughs> okay, good, good. Just double checking. <laughs> so now when you go to the gym and you squat or deadlift or lift or anything like that, what that's letting you do now is the nerves that are coming out of your low back and out of your pelvis that go into your glute are now working correctly, which means you're going to be more imbalanced. That way there's less likelihood of you getting injured in the future. So then you can, yeah, you can leave your knees bent like that. So you're gonna have a, I can actually move this up a little bit like that. Oh, okay, perfect. There we go. Good. And then what I want you to do is I want you to cross your arms like this. Good, nice and tight. I'm going to roll you over this way a little bit. Good, I'm just going to find that one area in the mid-back. Perfect. Let me take a big breath in. And let it all the way out. Good. <laughs> just like that. Not bad, huh? No. So that was that space right in between your mid-back, right in between your shoulder blades. That was really compressed and really tight. So now that's going to be looser. So now when you start moving your arms around, yeah, exactly. you can actually move them correctly. Perfect. And did that one hurt? No. 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 <laughs> Nothing hurt has hurt. So I'm gonna let you know everything I'm doing before I do it. Okay. Right now I'm just feeling. So I know like my first time ever getting my neck adjusted was actually from a student, which means that they didn't know what they were doing yet. <laughs> and look at me. I mean, this might be a little bit messed up, but the rest <laughs> of my spine is okay still. And a lot of people don't know that chiropractors learn how to adjust by practicing on each other back in school. So if you're ever scared or nervous to get adjusted by a chiropractor, 
Imagine what it's like in a just by someone that's never done it before. Yeah, that's a lot of trust. A lot to of trust. Person. And we notice, remember when I had you sitting down and we were doing the different range of motions in your neck? Yes. When we were doing the different ranges of motion in your neck, we realized that when you looked down into the left, it was more difficult, right? Yeah, it kind of hurt. And it kind of hurt too when you went like this into the left. And then one of the other things we did is we had to look up. And we pushed down on her head, and she said she started to feel the pain and discomfort right here at the top of her, at the bottom of her skull. So those are all signs that let me know it's more of an upper neck issue than a lower neck. Correct? Yes. You concur? Yes, it was definitely upper. Yes. So what I'm feeling, I can actually feel it. It's that very top bone on the left side. So I'm not going to adjust it yet. I'm just going to put you in the right position just so you know what okay. it feels like first. So when I would, how much do we say your head weighs? Nine point something pounds. Nine point something pounds. Thank you. Yeah, but really, it feels like twenty six. That's right. And if you ever want to see that, we have a posture app. So come on into Texas, and we'll be able to tell you how much your head <laughs> feels like it's weighing. Come to Texas. Come to Texas. So you can relax your head all the way down, and like, because I can handle all that. I'm not going to oh, adjust okay. it yet. But what I would do is I'd contact right there, and there would just be a quick little push right across like that. Okay. So see, I'm not bringing your head like all the way over. Yeah. So this way, I don't like to muscle anything through. I like to be a lot just quick and gentle. Okay. Same way I like to get it. Same way Dr. Matt adjusts me. Quick and gentle. Quick and gentle. Cool. That one bone. Beautiful, just like that. Perfect. A lot of noise, right? Holy shit. <laughs> Good, and then tell me to take a big breath in. Oh, you didn't do it again? No, no, no. Okay. no. And then all the way out. Let me have you sit all the way up for me, please. And swing your legs around this way so you're facing the door. There you go. And if you had to explain that to someone, how would you explain your first adjustment ever? My first adjustment ever was very gentle. So <laughs> gentle. I loved it. I was felt very comfortable. Um... If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.